Okay, so going into our character here, into our actions, we're going to look at, we'll set up this one because it's going to be the easiest one to set up. So <clears throat> this thing needs obviously a few things. And the way we're going to run it actually is all going to be by template. So I'm just going to make a temporary FSN. And in this one, we want, let's get owner, call that our self, and we need to get from Let's drag this thing in so we can find our stuff. Oh, not that one. We need the action list. Now, obviously, that's not going to be under that. That's going to be under our global. There we go. And we also want uh, da, 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 da. we're going to need a reference to ourselves under the stats, our data. Let's call that data. And Let's put a tiny weight. It's going to be long. Just a little one. Point one. Control click. And we also need another. One of those. The action menu. We need those both. And that's also off the global. So we got a whole, we're getting all our references. So now that we have our references, we want to whoop, set animator bool. And if you remember, and I don't know which episode it was, but in one of the last episodes, we made animation for this thing called hide. Right, and that's going to be the action menu. So we want it to hide. We want it to go do something. <coughs> the other thing we're going to want to do is. We need to get mouse button down and a get mouse button up. Because if we click down, we select and oh wait, no. Let's get rid of the up. We only need downs. Get mouse button down. Need two of those ones. There we go. I'm not crazy, you're crazy. So we can select, and then also if we get the right mouse button, let's, let's, I don't know, cancel. Right? So we have cancel, and now we have select. We can do either or. And if we cancel, then what we want to do is send an event and we're going to go to a host FSM and we need an event to send let's just call it re let's spell it properly reselect let's send that one Oh, 
reselect and then it can pretty much just stop right there and here we would need to also I'm going to copy that one well, let's unhide it and mouse pick uh, distance I'm just going to put 150 to make sure things are good but 100 should be actually fine store the game object and we're going to call that target and we are also going to use a layer mask and we're going to build a layer I think I've already built one but go up here add a layer name it anything you want but it, it essentially it's going to be the only thing you can hit are units in the battle so I'm going to call mine battle AI right it's a layer here and then we also we want to check is is game object null so target is null and if it's null let's reuse our cancel and just go back up here if it's not null we'll use this and call it here So now we can set a string, oh, just a normal string, an FSM string, and this is going to be called, we'll call it current action, and let's use action name. And set float value, which we haven't made these variables, so action delay, and this is going to be our our delay value. We also now want to. Turn action menu off. And then you know what we're going to add in here? Destroy objects. I know that seems weird because we don't have any objects. Well, we already have a current. Oh, yeah, we have a string. We'll call it all actions. And then we can finish the FSM. But we need to change a few things or alter the variables. <coughs> right? Like action delay. And delay value for example the action delay is actually a output and the delay value is a input right and current actions I should have just totally called the action is going to be an input and where else do we have here all actions will also be an input. That's our array that we're destroying. Uh, the target can be an output. The action name is an input. And that's probably fine. All right.
let's just call this a f base action. All right, okay, now I'm gonna delete this. So what this is gonna do, we're gonna go into our actions. And here, we're just gonna run. Run an FSM. And of course, we want that FSM we just made. Base action. <coughs> So we can now, we have all these little things that we can use. So this guy here is going to be our actions. Um, which we don't have it yet. We will make it. Current actions. This is actually the string. So it, in, in this example I'm going to type that in delay value for example we'll go 1.5 nope. and this thing needs a finish and it also needs that reselect. So this can be the finish. And the reselect just comes down here and it's going to re, it'll more or less hit this and just pop back up. But this kind of allows us to control that window. All right, so the other thing we want is we're going to make a state. We're going to say we are, actually, I'm going to make this all capital. Like that. And, of course, I forgot to hit enter because I'm an idiot. There we go. All right, so we have this, just an empty state so far. So this guy here, what it's actually going to come down and do is we want... A simple weight. And we're going to use the action delay. And that can just use finish. It comes down here. <coughs> In here, we need to. If you remember, way down here we have a queue and doing actions. So well, that's what we want to do. We want to add ourselves. Oh, we don't have a reference to ourselves. So let's get that. Let's get owner. This can be ourself. Kind of weird because I'm pretty sure we add ourselves elsewhere, but whatever. We'll figure that out. And now we can add ourselves. So essentially, if once the action list comes up, and if we click on it, it fires an event to this guy, and it's going to come back as attack because that's the name of the action from here All right so it's going to fire this one back so this one runs through this logic where we can now select a target after the window disappears we can reselect it which just comes down here and <clears throat> it allows us to re uh, reselect whatever we're going to do but if we select an actual target we say okay this is Oh, I thought I had. Let's put that here. I gotta double check that, but I'll, I'll do that after. So, anyways, it this selects a new name, and we do a little bit of a wait because we don't want the thing to happen right away, and then we go here. Once this is 
here. This will queue into the doing actions system, which will, which is where the turn base kind of comes in. Like you can't have two people attacking at the same time. And when that one's done, it's going to fire an event down to this guy. And this guy is going to send an event by name. And the name is going to be action string. I think. Double check that. So we have, we get all those. We have selected, we have our target, current actions is our action name. Yes, yeah, so we're using current actions. Should name that weird. I'm not too sure what I'm using this one for. What's the action name? Action name, I don't know if I am using action name. Let's see. There, not using it there. Current actions is the action name. Oh, so current actions is the output. Current actions is an output, not an input. action names is the input. So there is that. Current actions. This guy here is the action string. So then this, all this stuff fails from this. We go here, we do our wait, we go here, this guy comes in and says we're doing this guy. Which, as you can imagine, is going to be an event called attack action, which is, I have <coughs> said is a global. All right, so once we go through the queue system and it's our guy's turn, it fires this guy, splits everything based on what we've set, and he sends this, and this is the action that actually does the physical attacking. And what are we doing for time? But I think that's all we have time for, but this is this is kind of how we're going to be setting up these options, which puts us into the next part of the queue, and the, then the queue is going to be these things, the actual physical attacks. And let's do one more thing. Action string. You know what, I'm going to change that because I don't want to use the same thing. Let's use set action there, and then use set action here. Let's not get those mixed up. And this guy here, so we create the created action, we set all that up, any loops, this is where we want to array add. We want to add to our created. Oh, do we already have? No. Created actions. Created action. Is that what we're? Created actions. That's what we're destroying. 